what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? Enemies ahead! Atreus, follow me. I bet this will lead out. Turn back, Aesir. Guess the gods are welcome here. Remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Get out behind you! 
she is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a 
spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Members me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunku. the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. 
I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ugh. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, the wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamri. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Famur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolf! A dangerous beast! We'll take them down together! <laughs> Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Neat. 
trick one. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze Ugh. everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. Just give the word. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
can barely feel my fingers Come on out. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you are getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? <laughs> Boy, Armor really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow covered <laughs> corpse. into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Oh. Ready yourself, boy! <laughs> Go! Go! on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. <clears throat> they took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel to... Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You're well, welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Oh no! The floor collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> what does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah. The Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? From a song mother you sing. Don't I know that one? Winter lad! Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Try that. House! Duma! Bar! Gotcha! Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone.
back to writing before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Hey, 
Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. You know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Oh, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
something ahead. See, Lodge? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Will you focus on your damn job and... You quit that shit. I mean it. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Hanfried. You're done. Now. Shut up! Don't call me that. Yeah! Yeah! Can't believe you've lasted this long. Yeah! Maybe the logs can barely lift the blow. I said, shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Happy to teach
tank is smaller. Shut it out. Focus. Shut it out! Focus! I'll take the run! Looks like they need another lesson. And how we can teach,
you. You have no idea. You son of a bitch! No, no. Ah! No, Sickness. Fever has returned. No. It hasn't. Boy. The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs flair. No. Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Hey, Sindri, we found some... Wait, we were here before. But which way back? I don't think the lad's doing too well. If so, then keep up. Hey, I just realized Magni didn't come back to life. Is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across.
There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No. I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Well, last no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret for Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his tent. Submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat. You had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Ooh, 
Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. There's something over there. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the Giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me! Dumb. That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! <laughs> Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> oh. No! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far.
Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. This forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never a god, but a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god. Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridgekeeper's heart, and your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise.
Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
is nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, 
My brother and me created Mjolnir for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them... Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here... is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off. And I'm none the worse for wear. Now that Freya's given you the travel rune to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive this moment. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper reminds admission. He's the one you want. Just follow this bridge. Should lead us straight to it. You know, I really hope never to see this place again. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that hell's bramble blocking the path. One of the many reasons we went back for those blades.
Many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what? When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Huh? <laughs> 
That climb there could lead us out if we could reach it. Killing the bridgekeeper helped the dead leave Midgard. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. Who'd be mad enough to go there? Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
know the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Nothing more. You're set. Can't not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? Is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. That lock needs a gust of Hell's wind to open it. in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. Yeah. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blades. Is that see that? This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon heads. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long.
Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. 
He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. This isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is too ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. Babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple. But nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Without me. I will not. I 
I'm better now. You see that? You see well enough to travel. For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one season. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave it, but can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage broke at peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering... Why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return, I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Holden boar, giant turtle? You sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. 
No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Cares Ball, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? Right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way. 
dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jonhan town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this black room? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Hellheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. The da picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too?
Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of Owen back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Some friendly. forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land very far. The gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Oh, not as simple as that. Oh! 
delivered a tactical retreat. Set you off. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash butter. Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. We can't leave here without the black room. Come on, we can do this. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, uh, thanks to Odin, a good reason. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Something to be solved with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine.
betray us. To me. Focus up, boy! hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. What? Well, what's that fine mess? Look, I just want to know the truth. Okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck.
Look, I just want to know the truth from you, okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I'm... More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I'm... More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. Those saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tirna them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, for which bar do I pull? Right! The middle! The left! The left. The 
the left. Moon on the left, sun on the right. Keep gun in the middle. Middle bar. The right point. Left. Moon, Midgard sun. Moon, Midgard sun. Think. Can't drown. Yes, that's something. We're not stopping. Wait. What's that big chase for? Father, above you. Boy, we have to stop that chain. How? I, I do not know. To do? A knife? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked! Saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free! I think we did it! Right. Let's go see what Tears got for us. Oh no! Raised protection room! It rubbed off! What should we do? We keep going. Certain. I got it. Trust me. Good then. Aim for the face. Yeah. <laughs> 
gods. I have beaten bigger. Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? We're so close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. Uh. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. I'm gonna tell Sindri I'm a god. I'd like to see the look on his face. No. 
I still can't read these. I still can't read these. <clears throat> Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too. For good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same lad. So what? Uh, excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh, yeah. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Oh. 
glad I'm still useful to you. I'm sure you'll come back when you want something.